The expanding operations of the paramilitary forces in Sudan are causing fears of the conflict spreading to new regions. Jean Domingo is back for more news. The fighting between the Sudanese armed forces and the paramilitary rapid support forces is now approaching its seventh month with the fighting seem to have no end in sight. After months of conflict, the paramilitary group has withdrawn its attention in the capital city of Khartoum and has expanded its presence in the nation's central regions. The central state of Al Jazeera is coming under threat more than a week after the paramilitary seized Anyala, the second largest city in Sudan. The state of Al Jazeera is hosting the majority of the 1.2 million internally displaced people who have fled the fighting in the capital city of Khartoum since April. Meanwhile, United Nations Humanitarian and Emergency Relief Chief Martin Griffiths described the more than half a year civil war in Sudan as one of the worst humanitarian nightmares in recent history. Recent data from United Nations reveal that an estimated 9,000 people have been killed and another 5.6 million have been forced to flee their homes since the conflict broke out. Delegations representing the Sudanese army and the paramilitary group had arrived in Saudi Arabia's port city of Jeddah on Wednesday to resume a new round of negotiations in hope to achieve a ceasefire. Reporting, this has been Jean Domingo, SMLI News.